Hey guys, Mohan Popera here, and today we're going to talk about the different type of mentors. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Mohan Popera, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my experience in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years, and I'm here to share with you my lessons, my mistakes, some of the things that worked for me, didn't work for me. And I'm mostly here to show you that there's another way to grow a business. Most people talk about the organic way to grow a business, which is doing more sales, more marketing. I'm here to also open your eyes for the fact that you can grow a business by buying other businesses. And many times it will cost you literally the same amount of money to go and buy a business at least at the same size of your existing one. Or many times you can buy a much bigger business. It doesn't matter. It's more about who is the potential seller that you find. So this is what this channel is all about. Like, subscribe, comment below. I promise if you subscribe, you won't regret it. And see the links in the description below. There's a links for you to join our free groups on Facebook. There's a links for you to submit your questions based on your uh, personalized info and based on that I'm creating those videos. So go and do that right now. But now let's go to today's topic. So today I want to talk about the four different type of mentors and I'm going to kind of like tell you about them. So one of them is basically there's a coach, there's advisor, there's a mentor and there is their consultant. There are a few main things between those people, a uh, few main differences between those people. And I want to just talk about them because many people don't understand who do I need right now? Do I need a mentor? Do I need a coach? Do I need a consultant? And I think at every time in life, you need someone else based on your goals. So let's get to kind of like understanding what is each and how can you implement those strategies into your existing business. So to begin with, there's a coach. Coach is more there to keep you accountable, to put some kind of a mirror in front of you. So coach don't necessarily need to understand your sector. Coach is focused more about your mindset. So that's the first type of, you could say, a mentor. A mentor, when you're talking about mentorship, and coach again, coach is more about keeping you accountable. A mentorship, on the other hand, is someone you can say is already doing or did in the past something that you want to achieve. And then he can bring 50% of his side of things. And then you need to bring the other 50% where, for example, a mentor can show you, hey, here's what worked for me in business. And you need to then implement it. So you bring your 50%. He's bringing his experience and his 50%. And that's some kind of a mentorship relationship. And it's need to be, I think mentorship should be very focused on the business side of things. Again, it's not a must, but I think when we're talking in, in this context on, of business, I think when you find a business mentor, it's very important that he will do things that are related to what you want to do. Yes, it's good to have a mentor in a different sector, but if you try to grow a business in the engineering space and you have a mentor who's done completely different things, I don't know, he had a supermarket business or something like that, you need to find commonalities. Obviously, there are business fundamentals that are important to have, and if you have a lot of experience, that can help. But at some stage, you need to have someone from the sector, and I hope that makes sense. There's another side of thing, which is an advisor. Advisor is someone who, for example, you get yourself into a sector or business that you don't know anything about. Advisor can be the person who will literally open your eyes to what's possible in that sector. And then you also have consultants. Consultants are there many times to also implement. So it's basically the difference between you do it yourself versus he is doing it for you, if that makes sense. He can go out there, implement things for you and basically be some kind of an employee in the business as well. Now, in my opinion and experience, I don't think that it's enough to have just one type of those things. I think that you need some kind of combination of all of them. I think that if you want to grow your business organically, doing more sales, more marketing, there are so many people in those areas or operations or products or clients delivery you can find so many different consultants or mentors or advisors or all of those different things in those specific uh, topics. So you can find lots of mentors, consultants, advisors on just sales. You can find lots of mentors, advisors, consultants uh, on the type of marketing. You can find a lot on the, type of, on the topic of operation. But when it comes to growing a business by acquisition, and going out there and buying other businesses, I don't think that there's anyone out there who can give you all the support, all the accountability, all the mentorship, the coach, the coach, we, we can coach you, we can give you the mentorship. We are literally almost consulting or doing it with you or for you. Like we're closing deals ourselves with some of our clients. We are investing capital ourselves with some, some of our clients. I don't know anyone out there in the world who can help you grow by acquisitions like we do. Me and my team have experience of more than 300 deals and we are here to not just show you the process first and 
to show you how to do things on your own, but we are also there to eventually potentially partner with you on those deals and invest our own capital. So there's a win-win to everyone. And on the back end, there's a lot of money that we can make. And that's why we are happy to share those knowledge, that knowledge, that experience, that A to Z process with you guys. So again, if you want to grow your business organically, which is doing more sales, more marketing, better product development, better client delivery, all those different internal related stuff. And again, you need mindset help as well here. There are many different coaches who can give you that help with growing your business organically. But if you want to explore if growing back acquisitions is for you, and I can tell it without, like there's no competition to what we can do. We can help you not just with showing you the process, we can help you with the accountability, and we can then help you even with the implementation. So if you want to explore if growing back acquisitions is for you, go to moanpober.com forward slash talk, or just see the details in the description below and we can explore with you if growing back acquisition can fit your business. If it is, we'll show you how we can work with you and we can potentially invite you to our program. And if not, then we're happy to send you to someone else who could potentially help you achieve the outcome that you want. So no matter what, we're here to help you. We're here to share with you value. And I promise to you, just in that free call, you will learn so much and you will open your eyes and get clarity on where you're at and what should be your next step. And if we can help you achieve that next step, We'll show you how, and if not, we'll send you to someone who can help you. So go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk to hear about that. Otherwise, see the links in the description below. Um, join our group on Facebook and send me ideas for topics or just your questions. And I'm happy to that I'm creating those videos. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Get like, subscribe to the video, to the channel if you didn't yet. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.